Welcome to another tutorial on FortiGate Firewall. In this particular video, we'll see how to deploy FortiGate VM on ESXi server. So you will have to have the uh, support access, support.fortigate.com, and then you will have to click on support from, from the top corner. And then you will have to come to the VM section, like on my screen, as you can see. You will have to select the product as 40k. And then you will have to select the platform. Again, in my case, it is going to be VMware ESXi. Once I do that, I'll get the option to select the latest version and the earlier version. Well, here I am selecting 724. On the right hand side, I'll see some of the releases and the images. Well, if you carefully see the description, you will notice that the one that we need is going to have the description as FGT. For example, the one that we have here is for the upgradation and the one below this is for the new deployment. So I'm going to download this with the description FGT VM64724. I already have it downloaded. Let me quickly show you. So this is the one that I have downloaded 724 FGT VM64. If you unzip it, you will get multiple files. And then if you come to the section where you see readme, if you open this, you will see some description regarding the template that you should be choosing while deploying it. So for example, for the ESXi version, seven, you should use the template 6vm64.ovf. And for the ESXi 6.5 or later, you will have to choose vm64.hw13.ovf. So referring to this particular uh, readme text, we will be deploying the 7.2.4 version on our ESXi server. Okay, I guess it was not visible. Let me quickly share the screen again. Okay, so this is the uh, file that I have downloaded from the FortiGate website, support.fortigate.com. And after unzipping, if you go inside this folder, you will see these are the templates that you see hardware 13, hardware 15 and rest of the file. If you come to this section, you will see readme. If you open readme, you will get to know the descriptions about the template that you should be using on your ESXi server. For example, for 7.0, and later you should be using 64.ovf. And for 6.5 or later, you should be using hardware 13.ovf and respectively. So my uh, ESXi server is running on 6.7. So we will have to go with the template 40k to vm64.hw13.ovf. That's pretty important file to look at. Now going back to our ESXi server on my screen, this is the ESXi server deployed just for the lab purpose, just for the 40 gate deployment. If you click on health, if you click on about, you will see that the ESXi version is 6.7.0. And in the networking here, I have physical NICs, four of them connected, 0, 1, 2, 3. And I have a virtual switch, 0, 1, 2. This is the default one virtual switch zero, where an IC zero is attached. 
which will be used for the DHCP IPs on all the VMs. So going back to the VM section, let us try to deploy the 40 gate VM. Right click on it, click on create register VM. And then you will see the option where you have to select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click on next. You will have to name the 40 gate VM. In my case, it is going to be FG. And then you will have to drag drop some of the files that I'm going to show you right now. Just click on it. And on my screen, you will see that I will be selecting the template VM64.HW13 like I showed you in the last step where we were trying to check the content inside the readme file. So this is the template I'm going to use because my ESXi server is on 6.7. And then you will have to select the data drive which is VMDK file. And then you will have to select the 40 OS file, which is again a VMDK file. And if you do not attach any of them, will result in a failure. For example, let me quickly show you. I'm just going to remove 40 OS VMDK. As you can see, there's a warning here, a required disk image was missing. So that is basically because of the missing file that we are supposed to attach here. So I'm going to attach it again here, the template hardware 13 and the data drive, which is VMDK file. And again, the 40 US file, which is VMDK file again. Once you do that, click on next, select the data store that you would like to place this VM. In my case, it is the default data store. Accept the user license that I have selected already. Click on next. And here you will have to select the network. In my case, I will select ETH1. You will have to select this as for your environment. And I'm going, not going to change anything other than this. You will have to go according to your deployment in your network. Power on autom automatically. I have checked it. Click on next. Click on finish. By the time it is finishing the deployment, I'm going to show you the networking part of it. So this is the virtual switches section. This is the default virtual switch. This is the one that I have created, switch one, switch two. If you come to port group, you will see I have different port groups created. ETH1, ETH2, ETH3, ETH4 that I have added to the VM just now in the last step. So if you open, for example, ETH1, click on edit, you will see that the ETH1 belongs to the virtual switch V switch zero, which is the default virtual switch. So you can select accordingly. Security, I've kept it as promiscuous mode, promiscuous mode except, MAC address changes except, forge transit except, transmits except. So this is basically for the cluster deployment whenever you're doing any sort of uh, HA with 40 gate firewall or with any other firewall, you will have to keep this mode in accept state. Well, that was just an example of how you should be setting your network. Well, the deployment is complete and our 40 gate should be running by now. Let's try to click on 40 gate. Let's try to check the status. As you can see, it is still booting up. 
let it complete the booting. So it is partitioning and formatting the drives, the logical drives attached. Now it is going to restart. Since it is running on SSD, so should not take much time. So the deployment is completed. Now it is taking a new changes to the partition and booting from the correct partition. You can see the virtual uh, serial number that will change once you apply the licenses. This is the evaluation license. So I'm going to log in with the name admin. And I'm not going to enter any password. I'm just going to enter the keystroke enter. And then I'll have to add the new password here. So now the new password is set. You can check the status here, license expiry and everything ends on May 22nd. It is running on an evaluation license. As you can see on my port one, I have an IP 192.168.137.159. So that means my interface port one is receiving the DHCP IP from the DHCP server configured. Now let's try to access that from my browser. As you can see, I'm able to access the 40 gate firewall from GUI. Let me try to uh, use the same credential that I've, uh, that I've set in the last step. That's it. So now I should be able to use the 40 gate firewall for until 22nd of May. That is all about how you you can deploy the 40 gate VM on the ESXi server. If you have any question, do leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one.